Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Quick video, we're getting ready to glue together this beautiful piece of Sitka spruce right here. Very pretty piece for this acoustic guitar build we're doing. And then we have two more coming after that. And so what I'm doing is getting all my systems set up, getting the place for the bender and the neck joint machine. And you guys have seen this. If you've gone back and looked at any of the old videos, this is my plate joiner. These being plates. Right? And these are... Um, because he's, uh, he didn't want to knock that off anything like that. But. Hold on. So this is all adjustable, and it has a piece of Teflon down through the center. So the glue won't stick to it. The glue won't stick to that Teflon. And these cam clamps allow you to clamp against this piece here, which is also adjustable. Right? If you look at the bottom here, you can see the slots in it. All that stuff is adjustable with slots. Like that. Well, I'd be glad to build you one of these if you'd like. Just give me a holler. In the meantime, oh yeah, and this piece here that holds the center down so that it can't pop up and keeps the center clamp evenly. So the first thing we have to do is I gotta cut off these little ones. See that? Where the machine stop. I use the machine to cut that joint. I tried doing it with the hand plane, but this piece of wood has a grain reversal in it and it was giving me a hard time. So I just did it on the CNC machine and I think I can get a better joint that way. We're going to find out right now how the joint looks. I don't know how it's going to look yet until I give this a shot. So let me get you over here a little closer where you can see what's going on. Let me trim this first. Trim this off of here. This is over in the waste zone pop off those little tabs right there like that. Okay, I've got those little tabs off there. Now, let me get you a little closer so you can see what's happening here. Okay, so uh, you can see that it's fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. That's what's giving me a hard time with the plane because there's a grain reversal and even a nice sharp router bit made it fuzz up some. So what I want to do is just take my sanding block. This nice long sanding block, and I'm just going to run this across there, just enough to just take that fuzz off. Try to hold it straight up. All I'm going to do is just that fuzz off. That's pretty good. move any wood off. I'm just trying to get the fuzz off. Cheese it. It's the fuzz. Okay, so now theoretically these two pieces should fit together very nicely and they look like they did. So we'll adjust this to here. Like that. Kicking that in the center right there. And we can adjust this. This is our piece to push against. Like so, and then we can use these clamps here, like that, and we'll just snug them up a little, like that, and then like that, and you see how that wants to pop up? That's what we put this bar across the top. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. We'll get this top glued up, and then we can cut the rough shape of the soundboard out and get the hole cut in the center and so on, do the bracing. And that's coming up. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll see how that turns out. But this looks like this is going to be a really good joint. I'm going to give you a little close up here. I'm going to put this right here just to hold it down because it wants to go boop. But you can see, let me get you a little closer. You see those two pieces together there? Right there is the joint. You can see they fit together very nicely. And this clamp holds it very nicely. This works pretty good. And you, you know, I got another one too, so we can do two things at a time. Clamp this in, set it aside, and come back tomorrow. And this, this acoustic guitar top is ready to go into its next stage. So that's where we're at, bud. 
Steve's here. Say, hey, Steve, hold on. Let me get you over there where you can see. Where's he at? There he is. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Steve is gluing together some parts. Some parts, man. Parts, so, parts. Yeah, that's cool. Hope I'm not making you seasick with all the camera movement. So, that's where we're at. I'm gonna get this bad boy glued together and we'll move on. I just wanna double check this joint. I think it's good, it looks really good from here. I think that looks good right there. I'm gonna put some glue on this and get her together. And just a quick video today, just to say happy Saturday. Saturday out here at Work Guitars. We're doing our thing, we're getting stuff set up. There's some new builds. We've got a couple of new builds coming up. We got um, Tony Bullard's builds almost completed. That'll be wired up here this weekend. And that'll be ready to rock and roll. And we got a couple of great uh, kind of uh, surf style guitars, kind of jazz mastery, our style. And uh, that's coming up, and we got a great build for Patrick Lowe. I think I told you guys this, okay? So I'm probably just repeating myself. How about I just do the work and stop talking? Right, Steve? What am I chopping them? What about my bass? You oh. didn't say nothing about my bass. Hey, Steve's got a new bass coming, too. Yeah, man. Forgot that. That'll be cool. Well, Steve. Red-headed stepchild. Yeah. Nobody loves me. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta find something. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to get something over here. Now, what I want to do, just to be sure I got a good square joint here, is I'm going to take this piece where I already did the little thing across the sander, and it goes like that, right? right. I'll make sure I keep my pieces in the right order here. Don't want to get confused. I'm just going to let it hang off of this board I have on the table, so it's just hanging out a little past. And that'll keep that flat. And I can run this across there without anything weird going on. I can make sure that stays square and this stays square. And I'm not inadvertently making the side of the joint wobble. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Try to keep everything straight and square. So I'm just going to take this. And just run it back and forth across here a couple times. And that gets all my little fuzz out of that joint right there. You want a good, strong, clean joint. Nothing like a good, strong, clean joint. Am I right, Steve? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good, strong, clean joint. Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here, man. All right, one more time on this one. Oh, yeah, that's nice, too. Took all that little weird fuzz out of there. Nobody wants any weird fuzz in the joint. Right? Okay, now we can glue that bad boy together. I feel good about it. Because it's good to go, make sure this is clean, not poking any weird dents into anything. Put that there like that. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, that looks nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's going to make a good joint. Pull a little glue in there. Get that glue together. You get my glue bottle. So I couldn't find my glue bottle, and I figured out where it was. Steve Weaver's got it. That uh, rascal. So I'm going to fill up another one here right quick, y'all. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to try to do this without spilling it. Hmm. 
Nice. Nicely done. Only one little small drop came out. Get that out of there. Okay, now we're ready. We glue it together. Let's do it. The way it goes right there. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That's gonna be very nice. That's a nice tight joint. I like it. A little tiny bit of glue in here. It's tricky. It's tricky. Is there a bottle of water in there? Yes. Could you, could you grab that for me, please, real quick? Yep. Thank you, sir. I got a little messy over here. Is that, um, is that a little bottle? spray bottle here? That'd be, that'd be perfect, thank you. Thank you, sir. Always got to have a little spray bottle of water around. Doing some cleanup. This pot it already has a finish on it, so you don't have to really worry too much about the glue sticking. Glue sticking to it, but it'll make a little dent in your board if the glue dries underneath of it. We don't want any dents. Unless we got a little bead of glue along there, yeah. Set that down here like this. Slide that over like that. Squeeze it. Try to get some of that glue off real quick. That would be messy. Okay, now I'm going to set this on top. Make sure that's clean. Get you a little closer. You can see how all this action works here. We got this piece, aluminum I beam across there. Aluminum uh, extrusion, square extrusion. That's keeping the center down flat. Keeping anything from going boom and popping back up. This is what we're pushing against. And it can be adjusted this way and that way. And these are the clamps. And we'll just snug it up. You don't have to get weird about it. You can just snug it up a little bit. If you've got a really good clean joint, you just want to make it tight enough to hold it in place. Like that. Just like that. So we're going to peek in here just to be sure. And everything is cool. having a slot in there, you can slide it out of your way. I didn't need to take that all the way off. I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously wasn't thinking at all. And then we just snug that, hold that down. We snug this up. It's tight. 
Boom. All right, the acoustic soundboard is glued together. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Just a quick video to show you how these plate joiners work. If you're interested in one of these, let me know. We can build one for you. And, uh, you can use one of these, too. They work great. They work really good. Okay, that's all I got. You guys be good to each other out there. We'll see you out there somewhere. And be sure to go out and see your bars and your bands. We'll see your bands in the bars. You can see the bar, too, but I'm going to stop there. You guys have a good one. Bye. <laughs>